This week, we skate over to the Gaylord Palms Resort to bring you a preview of this year's ice event. And we'll also get a peek behind the creative process of some of your favorite theme park attractions. Plus, we'll have the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studios at Fun Spot. Right, right now. now. And welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Jesse. Jesse is here with us this week. Elise is once again uh, out. I think she's on a cruise this week. I think I saw her sunning herself. I know, we're jealous. Yes. But but thank you for coming in and filling in again. No, I'm happy to be here. So, Doctor Strange, newest mm -hmm. Marvel movie is coming out this weekend. Uh, I got a chance to see it early thanks to the Disney Parks blog. And I don't, I don't know how many trailers you've seen for this movie. Are you looking forward seen to it? seen a couple. I feel like it's Marvel meets Inception. You know what, that is actually really good analysis. Yeah? You know, like an analogy. I yeah, I could see that. You know, and especially you know, with, with the graphics. Now, it's obviously not a spoiler, but in the trailer you see like the cities folding in squares and stuff. Very impressive. Uh, it's definitely one of those great Marvel movies where you don't really know much about the character beforehand because at least his character wasn't really as popular as like the Avengers. Mm -mm. Same with Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't really know much about the characters going in, but when you go see the movie, you fall in love with it. And that's exactly how it was with Doctor Strange. I highly recommend seeing this. And you know, I recommend seeing it in 3D. 3D, yeah. Just with all the, 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 the visuals of the magic and the, the dimensions and the, all the folding city stuff, it looks pretty impressive with that 3D depth. Does it fit into the Marvel Universe that we know? Oh, Are we going to yeah. be like, oh, this can fit right into the Avengers and we can see it coming together? Oh, it, it is definitely going to be connected to the... Mm -hmm. it, it is connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I can't really say anything else without spoiling it. Um, but I will say there's just one line that someone says saying, oh, so there are wizards now in this world. And that's exactly how mm -hmm. our audience should feel. We have wizards now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Adding a whole new dynamic. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... Yeah, go check it out. I'm a little nervous about it. Why are you nervous? <laughs> I don't know. It just feels so different than the rest of the Marvel movies. It is. It, is. it feels like it's its own play. Like I said, I feel like I'm going to be watching Inception. I'm going to be watching um, uh, Neo, that whole like world coming together, Matrix. It feels very... I don't know. I'm not feeling the wonder like you get with Thor right. or the bounded to the earth well, yeah, that you get with. It, it, without going too much further into it, it is, it's, it's my mystical. Uh, let's just say that. Mm -hmm. um, but... It does stand, uh, stand well on its own. If you haven't seen any other Marvel movies, you can still enjoy this, but it does have those little bits of thread that will connect it to the Will kids universe. get into it? Oh, yeah. Will it be like a kid? Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids will love it. Perfect. So, we'll have to take your... You'll, you'll have to buy the DVD when it comes out and have your kids. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> she will be a Marvel kid. Yes, perfect. All right, let's get to the news in the queue after this. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote, visit meitravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to theme parks and attractions. For the best deals, go to undercovertourist.com. Celebrate the Magic will see its final performance tonight at Walt Disney World as the Magic Kingdom will host the brand new Once Upon a Time Castle Projection Show starting tomorrow. In the new show, Cinderella's Castle opens like a storybook, narrated by Mrs. Potts, who is sharing her Once Upon a Time bedtime stories with Chip. The projected screens let guests fly with Peter Pan, drop in on a tea party, fly with Winnie the Pooh, and much more. I, I'm, I'm loving this uh, new I'm projection so show. I mean, you know, Celebrate the Magic is not nice and all, but it's been around for, I think, like three or four years, mm -hmm. so it's good that we have something new, and especially something that came from Tokyo Disneyland. It's not often we get something, one of their awesome things brought to us. <laughs> Just imagine sitting on the grass with Spencer and oh. Mrs. Paws is telling you a story and she falls asleep. That's what I picture. Oh. And then that's when the night can end for the little ones, you, you know? You're, you're talking like she's able to fall asleep at the parks. <laughs> oh, you, wait, you just wait, just wait until you, you're, you're I just picture being so like, <laughs> Storybooky. I it's, mean, who else to tell you a story better than Mrs. Potts? It's true. It's true. I'm very, it, and I love that it's really focusing a lot on the classic Disney movies, not more on the modern ones. So you like, like Alice in Wonderland, Winnie the Pooh, and 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 then of course, 
all tied together by being the beast. Absolutely. I love all the new stuff going on. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. So exciting. Yeah, so, something new. We have mm -hmm. new details on an opening date for Pizza Rizzo. Oh, yes. The classic family pizzeria owned by Rizzo the Rats will open in Muppets Courtyard at Hollywood Studios on November 18th. Inside guests will find decor inspired by Rizzo and his extended family who have visited Pizza Rizzo over the years. Upstairs is Rizzo's Deluxe Supreme Banquet Hall where there'll be a, re a wedding reception already in progress. I love this idea. Because, yeah, you know, we all remember Pizza Planet uh, and you know, they're full of arcade games. So it's definitely going to be an extension, a, a bigger story here. And it's going to tie in with the Muppets Courtyard, really expand that area. So I'm very happy with this. Muppets are... Still going strong to this day. I love the Muppets and I was so nervous when they were doing all of the construction and changes in Hollywood Studios. That, that the would Muppets go. would go away a little bit, but they're expanding it and that's so exciting. And they even have the little tip of their hat to the planet at Hollywood. Best pizza on planet. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's, it's, it's the perfect little nod to the old one. I love that the uh, they have rest, you know, it's obviously not a big deal, but the restrooms next to it have already opened up and they are themed to Gonzo's Royal Flush from the um, the Muppets movie that uh, came out a few years ago starring Jason Segel. So, it's, it's I think it's really neat tie into a more current Muppets it's things. It's perfect. I perfect. can't wait. I, and it's another forward. option for eating. There's not a lot. <laughs> yes. There's not a lot of options for eating in the parks, <laughs> but no. Yeah, really, especially at Hollywood Studios. Uh, yeah, a nice casual area to get away with the family that's themed to something that's a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait to try it out. Now, inside SeaWorld Orlando's Antarctica, guests may spot one penguin that looks a little different from the others. She's wearing her very own wetsuit. The female Adele penguin recently experienced feather loss, which can happen to a penguin in the wild. As a result, the bird is having a hard time naturally regulating her body temperature. Now, SeaWorld's avicultural team created a wetsuit to mimic her former coat of feathers. The coat was designed and sewn by SeaWorld's wardrobe department and custom fit just for her. Did you see? The, yes. The adorable. She's so cute. <laughs> I just want to, I want to pick her up and hold her and hug her. She's so cute, and now she's she's like a little celebrity. I know. Now I didn't uh, didn't re uh, do the feathers eventually grow back? Not to my knowledge. At least I don't okay. think they do with the penguins. At least everything so I was. You would reading. kind of like say like in terms of a human, it'd be like um, pattern baldness, like a like a, a male getting mm -hmm. going bald or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they just won't grow back. No, but it's really neat that SeaWorld has taken the time to find a solution to help her stay in that natural area and stay with everyone as she is. Yeah. You know, now she can be a part of everything. I kind of wonder how the other penguins are looking at her. Yeah, from what I saw, it seems like they're just getting <laughs> right in. You're like, hmm, it's gonna be an, uh, it's that amazing. tuxedo doesn't look like my tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be a great talking point for guests visiting, and they're going to see her, and they're going to be like, oh, what's, what's, what's going on? And they can learn about that, uh, that condition. And it's very innovative. I wonder if they'll be able to apply this to penguins in the wild, like finding a way to make this a rescue program or oh. learn more about the development of penguins. If this, you know, it happens in nature, this could be a solution in the future. That's a very good point. Definitely. I'd love to see that happen. So Dollywood has announced plans to add three new attractions and two new special events to its Smoky Mountain Resort next year. The drop line will be a 200 foot tall free fall experience that will tower over Timber Canyon. Whistle Punk Chaser is a new junior coaster opening next summer. And the last of the currently announced rides is Tailspin Racer, a new water slide at Dollywood's Splash Country. Just in time for spring break, the park will introduce Ira, a Tokyo-based dance company which was featured on America's Got Talent. Nice. And finally in October, the park will welcome the Great Pumpkin Illuminates event alongside the Southern Gospel Jubilee to its Harvest Festival. A lot of announcements here. This is Dollywood is is in my top five theme park bucket list places. Like I really want to visit this place and go to it. Everyone tells me that they love it. It's a huge surprise. All the pictures I've seen, like, you need to go here. And I'm like, oh. Have you seen this dance team on America's Got Talent? No, I haven't. They're on season 10. And okay. they're, just, it's kind of like Blue Man Group meets Otto. And it's really crazy cool. I've been seeing a real big increase of parks lately bringing in entertainment from like those shows like America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. uh, I think at, at Halloween Horror Nights, the Academy of Villains, uh, that show, they are from one of these uh, reality really? show competitions. So hmm. I really like the parks are doing that. And I just want to quickly note the... Uh, Tailspin coaster that's going to their water park there. I'm sorry, the first time I read that, I just can't, can't stop picturing Tailspin <laughs> from from Disney Channel back in the day. Uh, yep, which is it, coming like, back, right? 
I don't know if Tailspin's coming back. I, I know DuckTales Duck is coming Tales back. DuckTales is coming back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hidden Mickey of the Week. This week, let's go to Animal Kingdom Lodge. On the right wall mural between the outer and inner entrance doors to the main lobby, an orange and brown creature of some sort sports a classic Mickey in a circle on its mid-back. There are a lot of great hidden Mickeys at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, and this is one of them. Fun Spot America. It's finally cooling off here in Orlando and it seems like it's actually fall. You know what that means, don't you? <laughs> of course, winter is coming. Yes, and with it comes all of the holiday events, including this year's much anticipated ice at Gaylord Palms Resort, which we had the great opportunity to get a preview of last week. Maybe the increase in solid form of H2O in Orlando has caused the weather to suddenly drop. Hmm, wonderful. Wonderful hypothesis, Jesse, but let's leave the technicals to the professionals while we enjoy this report. We're here today at the Gaylord Palms for a special preview of their annual holiday event, ICE. The artisans are about to arrive and we'll get to interview a couple of them and maybe if we're lucky, get a special sneak peek at the actual event. I hope I'm not underdressed. Were they familiar with the Peanuts characters before uh, participating in this? Miss uh, Liu, he never seen the Charlie Brown was a Peanut characters before, and he saw. Uh, he said he saw the cartoon when he was little. <laughs> <laughs> Besides carving here, what are they most looking forward to doing in town? Like going to any of the theme parks or Disney World? Or? And he said uh, if they have time, they would like to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> So this is his 16th time coming to U.S. to do mm. these uh, projects. And he said, uh, I've been to Disney parks and SeaWorld, Universal, all kind of stuff. He said, um, I guess he's a major, it's uh, shopping. <laughs> what about him? This is his third time here. Okay. Uh, well, not, not here in Orlando. This is the first time here in Orlando, but third time in the U.S. I got to know how they both got started with um, ice sculpting. Is it a family tradition or something that they just got into? How did they get started in it? So Mr. Liu started when he was a 17, and he started with a carving jade in China, and then after that for a few years, and then he started carving ice. And he's been in this uh, business for about 40 years. And so he is. Uh, he was uh, like interested in art when he was little, and he followed his uncle from a long time because his uncle travels. He's carving a lot of things, so he's learn. He learned from his uncle, kind of a family business. Definitely cold. So they provide jackets and parkas, but you're going to want to dress at least with pants and uh, closed-toed shoes. So I'm standing here next to some of the giant blocks of ice that they'll be carving. This is what they look like when they first come in. That is really cold. It's a giant block of ice. Uh, over here you can see some of them actually come pre-colored. Don't do it. So for our viewers who might not know, uh, give us an overview. What is ice? 
ice is two million pounds of hand carved ice. We have artisans from Harbin, China come out here and they hand carve everything uh, and tell a story through a vignette. This year, uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas is a story that they're telling. So there's different vignettes that they go all the way through and it culminates in a giant slide room where you go racing down ice slides. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Now, see here, I'm wearing a, a parka that you guys very politely provided me. And well, you are, are you freezing right now? <laughs> I, I'm, it's nine degrees in here. I am definitely Ooh. freezing and I'm glad you got the last parka. <laughs> oh, not sorry. Um, <laughs> now, I'm curious, uh, every time I see this, like I'm always paranoid about my freezer at home uh, thawing and refreezing. What do you guys have to do to keep this place nine degrees all day long? Well, we have uh, large refrigeration units that you have out back that actually pump nine degrees, actually less than nine degrees in this, uh, this structure all day. Uh, it's insulated on the floor and the ceiling, on the walls, uh, and we have many monitoring systems all the way through it. So the monitoring systems actually keep us in the loop of what's, how cold it's blowing, uh, how cold it's in here, and depending on how many people go through it, it changes the temperature. So we monitor it all the time, 24 hours a day. Wow. Now we're seeing, I mean, you already have some of the stuff here uh, done and it looks so amazing. Uh, how long does it take for them to carve the full event? We have 40 artisans here for 40 days. So uh, they started about a week ago and uh, they've been working in here nonstop for about a week, about eight to 10 hours a day. Uh, and it will go all the way up till we open on November 18th. Wow. Now, would you say, if you had to guess how many sculptures there are total that will be a part of the event, what would you, what would you say? Oh, well, uh, you know, it's definitely two million pounds of ice. I can't tell you how many sculptures in there because you have wall structures, okay. uh, you have different characters, you have Snoopy, you have all the Charlie Brown characters. Uh, so it's definitely a good chunk of uh, sculptures all the way through here. Oh, well, we, we've been in here for like five minutes. I'm already starting to feel it. Uh, how long do people tend to, tend to spend here? Hang out. Uh, they, they typically come in and they spend about 20 to 30 minutes uh, and they go through. You can come out if you get too cold and warm up and then come back in. Uh, so we want to make sure that's an enjoyable experience for you and you, you have a good time in here. So if it gets a little too cold, come out, warm up, come back in. We provide all our guests a parka. We uh, recommend you definitely wear closed toed shoes because uh, that's something we can't help with. But uh, it's definitely a great experience. Oh, guys, any other advice you have for people who are coming to visit to try to get the most out of this experience? Well, Christmas at Gaylord Palms, ice is only one part of it. Uh, you have the Cirque Dreams Unwrapped Holiday Christmas Show, which is a free atrium Cirque show. You have the Mrs. Claus uh, sing-along event. You have gingerbread decorating. You have uh, snow tubing and cosmic snow tubing. You have snow throw. Uh, you have photos with Santa, and you also have Charlie Brown uh, character breakfast. There's so many different things here to spend a day. So we do sell day passes. You can book a room package at christmasatgaylordpalms.com and you can really make a day out of it, make a weekend out of it, and really enjoy yourself uh, and take in all the holiday uh, fun and spirit. Now lastly, I wanted to ask, uh, I grew up with the Peanuts. You know, This is such a big part of my childhood and my history. What's it been like for you guys working with uh, the Schultz family and, and the Peanuts characters? Incredible. I, I mean, if you think about what, uh, what it means, we all grew up with that. We remember watching the TV shows and you know, seeing the movies, and I have two kids myself, so going through this process while they're excited, I don't think they're anybody else. I look like a hero to them. They think it's uh, it, the coolest thing in the world to have uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas here this year, and you know, to see it kind of come to life is pretty exciting from, from the original uh, animations to all the way to the actual ice sculptures. So awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. So that was our sneak peek of ice here at the Gaylord Palms. Now we'll be back to give you a full look at it when it's all done. But if you want to check it out, it opens November 18th and runs to the end of the year. Now I'm going to go outside. <laughs> the next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Do you ever wish you could get in the heads of the creative minds behind your favorite attractions? Well, here's your chance. That's right. We sent our reporter Mike Carr to get you a behind the scenes look at Falcon's creative group, an Orlando based company behind worldwide attractions like Turtle Trek at SeaWorld Orlando, Curse of the Dark Castle at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. They're even working on the new Heroes and Legends attraction coming to Candy Space Center next week. Let's go behind the scenes. 
Hey guys, we are here outside of Falcon's Creative Group. We're about to go inside. They're gonna give us a behind the scenes tour of what they do. What do they do, you ask? They create some of the coolest things you'll ever see in your theme parks. Immersive, interactive experiences, and they're gonna give us a little tour. So let's go check it out. Hey, we are here inside Falcon's Creative Group, and we're here with Cecil Macri. He is the face that runs the place. This is the guy. How are you today? Good, good, thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, tell, us tell us a little bit about what you do here. Well, Falcon's Creative Group uh, houses three different companies. Falcon's Treehouse, which designs resorts and master plans and attractions. Mm -hmm. Then there's Falcon's Digital, who does all the content for those attractions. Oh, great. And then we have an additional company called Falcon's Licensing. Mm -hmm. which allows us to license the films that we produce as well as write systems that we've patented and, and created ourselves. Very cool. Who are some of the uh, places in Orlando you've worked for or even worldwide that you've worked for? Um, I was at Universal for six years mm -hmm. uh, and then we've continued to support them in, in the early years of Falcons. Um, we've done work for Disney and renovated Spaceship Earth is one oh, of the attractions nice. that we developed and we do uh, work for SeaWorld as well. Very cool. Um, what got you into this world of just this creative world, what was it for you that made you go, I gotta do this for a living? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when I was a, a kid, I, uh, my father was a fine artist and a musician, and I tried to figure out what would be a cool industry that allows me to have a pencil in my ear and, and get paid for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, traditional architecture was my background. So Very cool. I'm an architect as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, with my father's love for foreign films, I thought, wow, storytelling is a significant part of what I love to do as well. So I tried to combine the two, and so I got a degree in environmental design at San Diego State. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's where I found uh, there was an appeal for theme design. And uh, iWorks Entertainment then was looking for something that uh, had traditional architectural background, but some storytelling. And my thesis in college was revolving around that, so I was offered a position. <laughs> at iWorks Entertainment where I worked on several uh, simulation rides, Aliens, Robocop, and what have you. Um, and that's where I got exposed to Universal and they mm -hmm. hired me for an attraction um, specific. And Twister was the one that I was creative director and um, co-patent uh, holder, the inventor of Twister. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. That was one of that was one of my favorite things to do there. I love oh, being yeah. kind of stuck in the in a natural disaster. It's a lot of fun. 55-foot <laughs> vortex. That's amazing. Man-made. <laughs> very <laughs> right. cool. So uh, I t today you're going to take us around and show us a little bit about... Yeah, we'd love to show, show you uh, behind the scenes of Falcons. Great. Let's take a look. Awesome. <laughs> so this, well, this is really cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, one of the things, I'm a big fan of Frank Lloyd Wright, the architect, mm -hmm. you know, having a little bit of an architectural background. Um, and so when we wanted to design this, we wanted to feel that everyone who comes into the venue feels mm -hmm. special. And that's why there's this radial design in our front, front area. But he also worked on compression and uncompression. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to create a low ceiling when you first enter and then ultimately create some fenestration and open up to the creative energy that's within our oh, very heart. Cool. So nice. that's what these moving lines and these portals represent. Yeah, these are all mirrors if you can't see at home. So I'm looking right into my own face right now. <laughs> there, you, Now you can see me. Hi. Excellent. <laughs> So these are meant to be a symbol that you, who, whoever comes in here, is part of us. So that's a symbolic little design process. That's very cool. And then ultimately you open up, and one of the things that we wanted to do is hit you with an iconic visual of mm -hmm. the tree, which is a stainless steel tree that houses, I think, close to two miles of stainless steel oh, wow. cable. It's about 2,300 pounds, <laughs> um, a little over a ton. Um, and so we thought that was fun to have a little iconic uh, symbol of our Treehouse. This is the design side, and in the distance you'll see our Fa Falcon's digital side. It's really cool how everything's really open too, so everyone can really communicate quickly and easily with each other. Yeah, and that was a big part of our design process, was trying to create this organic, fluid um, process in an open form that allows to have meetings, you mm -hmm. know, in, in the open setting. Very nice. And as an architect, you had a hand in kind of designing the look and outline of the place, right? Correct, right. We designed internally the whole, the whole theater. It's really, it's really amazing. Yeah. Uh, thank you. So the way we've laid it out, you know, we've kind of consolidated different parts of the design process. And over here is the conceptual side. So Falcon's Treehouse uh, designs resorts and uh, attractions and does the pre-production and content development um, for the content, for character development. So our artists here work on Cintiqs and Wacom tablets to use the latest technology and they develop all the actual illustrations and key art. Then it moves on to some of the schematic work where we're using AutoCAD and developing the construction documents uh, for fabrication. Very cool. Then it progresses deeper into the actual digital side. So this is Treehouse right here. Correct. I just put it together with the tree and everyone in the treehouse. I just <laughs> made the connection. Smart. 
one of the things that we recognized immediately have, was how important it is to develop content specifically for attractions. It's different than providing content for traditional rectangular aspect ratio storytelling like mm -hmm. feature films or television. The formats that we use are so unique and content's done in a different way where it's not just uh, edited pieces to tell a story where you're projecting yourself on the characters and, and enjoying entertainment that way. Mm -hmm. You actually play a huge part as a, a consumer in the experience. So we decided to open up our own digital studio because it's so unique mm -hmm. on how to carve out the story. So we're currently working on the Kennedy Space Center Heroes and Legends project, which mm -hmm. is opening on November 11th, so we're hot and heavy on that oh, project. Oh yeah, deadline and coming up. That's right. So we did, not only did we do the master plan and attractions mm -hmm. uh, development, but we also are doing all the content for that. Uh, this is Mark Lassoff, our CG supervisor. Um, he's, also, working, yeah. he's also the Academy Award winner yes. for Titanic. So we're, we're uh, one of our biggest goals is to try to, you know, court some of the best talents in the industry. Um, so we were able to uh, bring Mark on board, as well as Tony Plett, whose uh, um, previous uh, work was with uh, Jurassic World uh, with ILM. And so that's a big part of our efforts is to get top talent at uh, Falcons. I think, and I may be wrong, we'll have to fact check this, you might be the first Academy Award winner on the show. So <laughs> this is a big deal for us. Oh, as, really? You know, we're honored by, wow. by your award. <laughs> I'm honored as well. Thank you. Never let go. <laughs> That's what Jack said. Never let go. Well, let me show you our 40 theater. Um, integrated in the ceiling, we have a stereoscopic barcode projection system that allows us to have a 3D, 19-foot diagonal oh, 3D wow. screen. So. so you do a lot of Super Bowl parties here, I take it. Yeah, <laughs> cable is attached. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that just gives you... Uh, some insight to some of the technologies that we do to help make sure the quality of our work is at up to Yes, yeah, so you can really see it in a larger scale, so you can really work the details and make it look as good as it needs to look. One of the projects we just finished up was the Ben 1040 Theater at the IMG Worlds of Adventure, and a lot of our work was quality controlling that efforts here oh, in our right. own theater. And in addition to that, we're using this uh, wall specifically as an interactive wall where mm -hmm. we're using the Connect open source technology where it actually can profile you. Mm -hmm. And since we've created all these characters for the Avengers ride at IMG's World of Adventure, we have a lot of the characters all modeled and rigged. So we're actually uh, doing a proof of concept where it actually can profile you, mm -hmm. look at your stature, and pick your favorite Avenger and actually have that um, mimic your performance. Oh. So that's something that we're integrating here as a proof of concept to entertain those in the queue line, for example. Oh, perfect. And yeah. you can actually start to uh, identify some entertainment uh, touch points. I would never leave this office if I could do that. I would never <laughs> leave this. I would want to be Captain America all day. <laughs> so this is one of our patented products. Um, it's the Suspended Theater. We have an international patent. Um, and Oceaneering is our partner and Craftwork out of Austria. Um, and we've combined our skill sets to provide this unique product, which is a suspended theater system. That's 3D uh, media, just like you've experienced in the dome. But ultimately, it's like a puppet of technology that allows guests to elegantly float up oh, 67 wow. feet in the air. And really, what's unique about this uh, patented product is that it starts off like a traditional 40 theater. Mm -hmm. So you come in and you watch a traditional content thinking that's all you're going to get. But you don't realize that the roof's going to be pulled up and you're going to be <laughs> flying 10 feet per second. So in six seconds, you're 70 feet in the air. So it's quite an incredible experience. And then it's stereoscopic content oh on top goodness. of that. So now it's choreographed with three degrees of freedom of heave and pitch and roll while you fly <laughs> through content. So it's quite impressive oh, yeah. experience. Oh. We're going in the dome. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is happening? Well, this, is, this is one of our products. Um, you know, we've done 3D domes, but one of the things we wanted to do is showcase how small you can get. So this is our Nanosphere on product, mm -hmm. which can house up to 25 people instead of like Turtle Trek that houses 100, and, you know, 100 and plus people. Um, and our Mega Sphere on, which was the one in the Macau, was 550 people. So to be able to see the scale of uh, producing 3D dome content, you can see it could even be in an intimate scale. So smaller venues can, you know, participate in the immersive experience as well. And just being without the glasses on, it's like, okay, it doesn't feel very big, it's not real, but then when you put these on, it feels like it's 
miles in either direction all of yeah. a sudden. I mean, the screen goes away and it's yeah. basically an open volume of uh, window into another virtual world. Right? It's amazing. <laughs> When you're pregnant like me, you might think that theme parks and attractions aren't any fun because there's so many restrictions on what you can and can't do. But I promise you, there is still a lot that you can enjoy within a park. Here are some of my tips for what I think are the best ways to get around the parks pregnant. First, waiting can be such a pain, especially at the end of the day when you're waiting for the trams to get you out to your car. There are complimentary wheelchairs at all of the Disney World theme parks to get you out and through the parking lot with no problem. On busier days or towards the end of your pregnancy, I definitely recommend just renting one. It will help a lot, especially with full benches and the hot sun. I also recommend plotting out the bathrooms. Find bathrooms that are off the beaten path. There's nothing worse than waiting to have to go pee when you are pregnant. My last advice is to just enjoy it. Celebrate your pregnancy. Wear the cute shirts, get the buttons, the cast members and team members are more than eager to celebrate your new arrival. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. And now for this week's calendar. Halloween Horror Nights wraps up this Friday and Saturday. The Epcot Food and Wine Festival features performances by Soul Asylum tonight, Delta Ray through Sunday, and Boys to Men Monday through Wednesday. The event ends on the 14th. Mickey's first Very Merry Christmas parties of the season will begin Tuesday and Wednesday. Ooh, birthday shout outs this week go out to Mark Daniel, Jen Fischler, Cheryl Gamache, Randy Shuri, Jim Sawyer, and for our very own princess and the vlogger, Alex Royer. Happy birthday! Yes, happy birthday everyone. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discounted tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit Fun-Spot.com for tickets and more information. If you enjoyed our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine through our website in our app on the Nook and Kindle. Now here's a peek at our fall issue. You can order a copy or subscribe through our website. All right, so you, so, what's uh, due date is coming up very quickly now. 29 days. 29. 29 days. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready for this? Less I'm than a month now. I'm ready to be a mom. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to start going to theme parks with the baby. Don't have a nursery painted or any of those kinds of things. And I really want to make it to Thanksgiving. You want you want you want her to come after Thanksgiving. Yes, I just want to enjoy a nice turkey dinner before <laughs> all this chaos breaks out. Oh, you're gonna have turkey dinner in the hospital and yeah, no. And Winnie Palmer for turkey, I guess. I don't know. Well, best. I'm excited. You know, I'm gonna look forward to, to meeting her. So. I'm excited to have her be part of all this theme park family. I think yeah. it's going to be great to grow up here and hang out with Spencer exactly. and story times in the spots. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Now. Um, Elisa will be back next week, but as she comes back, I will be heading out. I'm heading up to uh, Boston for the first time to go visit Sydney's family. Uh, so I'm very excited to get to explore that area uh, for the next week. So, hey, if you see me out there walking the Freedom Trail in Boston, be sure to say hi. I would love to see you. down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, show me the sights. I want to see everything. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun.
Secret Blooper of the Week. Check, check, my check, one, two. Hey, how you doing? I'm standing here next to some giant blocks of ice because it's nine degrees. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs>